Welcome to part three of this tutorial for creating a multimodal simulation using VISM presented by Cal Poly Pomona. This video will demonstrate how to create links and connectors to build a highway network. Click on the links toolbar in the network objects window. Right click a point where you wish to start your network, then select add new link. A link data window will appear where you could define the name of the link, behavior type, the number of lanes, and the lane width. Leave all other options as the default settings. Click OK. Now you can click and drag either endpoint to your desired final locations. The link data window can be accessed by double clicking on the link. Pay close attention to the direction of the arrows located at the edges of each link. The arrows indicate the direction of traffic flow. It is highly recommended you create all basic links first with their approximate start and end locations. You can change the curvature of links so it matches the alignment of the aerial background image. Right click anywhere on the link you want to add a vertex and select add point. Move the point around to match the curvature of the road. Multiple points can be added at once by right clicking anywhere on the link and selecting Generate spline. A new window will appear. Enter the number of intermediary points you wish to add. Then select OK. Click, drag, and drop each point to your desired location. Connectors guide the path of each vehicle. Links must be connected to other links for continuous travel. A connector is the tool to connect two links. For computational reasons, it is best to design connectors not too long and not too short. Click on the links toolbar in the network objects window. While holding control, right click on the precise upstream link and lane. Drag the cursor to the desired downstream link and lane. Release the right mouse button. A connector dialog box will appear. Make the right connection between two links. Lanes are in numerical order with the number one designated to the rightmost lane of travel. Click OK to finish. Repeat all previous steps to create the entire network. Don't forget to name every link with a unique and descriptive abbreviation for easy identification. 